Steps of Synthesis of Collagen Ever wondered what keeps your skin firm, your joints flexible, and your bones strong? The answer is collagen. It is the most abundant protein in your body. But have you ever thought about how collagen is made? In this video, we're diving deep into the biochemistry of collagen synthesis, breaking it down step by step to make it easy to understand. Let's get started. What is collagen? Collagen is a structural protein with a unique triple helix structure. It typically consists of two identical alpha-1 chains and a third alpha-2 chain, which has slight differences in its chemical composition. What makes collagen special is its unusual amino acid composition, particularly its high hydroxyproline content, which is essential for stabilizing the triple helix. A common repeating sequence in collagen is glycine-proline X sequence and glycine X hydroxyproline sequence. Where X represents any amino acid except glycine, proline, or hydroxyproline. This specific structure gives collagen its strength and stability, making it essential for connective tissues like skin, tendons, and bones. Collagen synthesis, inside and outside the cell. Collagen synthesis occurs in two major stages. Inside the cell. And outside the cell. Let's start with the intracellular phase. First five steps of collagen synthesis occur inside the cell. Step 1. Translation and pre-procollagen formation. On the ribosomes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, two types of polypeptide chains, alpha-1 and alpha-2 chains, are synthesized. These chains are initially called pre-procollagen and contain signal peptides and registration peptides at both ends. Step 2. Conversion to pro-alpha chains. Pre-procollagen enters the lumen of rough endoplasmic reticulum, where signal peptides are cleaved, forming pro-alpha chains. Step 3. Post-translational modifications. Hydroxylation of proline and lysine residues occurs in the rough endoplasmic reticulum lumen, a process that requires vitamin C as a cofactor. Glycosylation of specific hydroxylysine residues follows, which aids in collagen stability. Step 4. Procollagen formation. Three pro-alpha chains, two alpha-1 and one alpha-2, intertwine to form a triple helix, now called procollagen. This step is crucial for collagen structural integrity. Step 5. Transport and secretion. Procollagen is packaged in the Golgi apparatus and then secreted into the extracellular space via exocytosis. Collagen synthesis outside the cell. Now that procollagen has been secreted, the remaining steps occur outside the cell. Step 6. Conversion to tropocollagen. Procollagen peptidase removes the registration peptides, converting procollagen into tropocollagen, it is the basic collagen unit. Defects in this step lead to disorders like Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Step 7. Collagen fibril assembly. Tropocollagen molecules self-assemble into collagen fibrils, which are reinforced by covalent cross-linking between lysine and hydroxylysine residues. This process is catalyzed by LYSYL oxidase, a copper-dependent enzyme. Step 8. Formation of collagen fibers. Multiple collagen fibrils bundle together, forming collagen fibers. That provides strength and support to connective tissues. Collagen fibers attach to cell membranes via proteins like fibronectin and integrins, facilitating cell-to-matrix interactions. Conclusion Collagen synthesis is a complex yet fascinating process that is essential for maintaining the structural integrity of our skin, bones, tendons, and connective tissues. From intracellular modifications to extracellular assembly, each step plays a crucial role in ensuring that collagen provides the strength and flexibility our body needs. Thanks for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more insights into biochemistry and molecular biology.